Hey, Mark. Thanks for coming. I have a very important task for you today. Oh, I'll do my best, Eric, as always. I know you will. Now, I need you to find a way to sort these three objects. That's it. I'll come back later. I don't see any obvious method by which I could sort these objects. My brain is tired. I'm taking a break. Someone left these objects unclassified. That's intolerable. Animal, vegetable, mineral. That's it. I have a schema for this now. I can accomplish my task. Schema markup is the animal, vegetable, mineral of web page organization that can help search engines accomplish their task. Here's why. Folks, Mark and I would like to introduce you to Mats Tolander, our Director of Technical SEO here at Stone Temple. Mats is an expert in the area of structured data and schema markup, so we asked him to come give us a crash course on why they matter. Thank you, Eric and Mark. It's, I'm glad to be here. So, Mats, let's start with a definition. What is structured data? Structured data is a way to make it easier for such engine to understand how a specific set of content fits inside a structured data schema. Okay, so tell us what you mean by structured data schema. A schema is simply a structured framework. It's a way to label and organize data in a relevant and logical manner. For example, if we had a data structure for addresses, it wouldn't make much sense to have a label for height as part of that schema. However, it could make sense for a complementary class describing the structure at the address or describing the mailbox at the address. Well, I for one feel like I could use a schema for height uh, right now, but anyway, I'm going to guess that a structured data schema is a framework for recognizing different kinds of data. Well, Mark, and they say you're just a pretty face. Yes, that's correct. When we structure the data with established schema, we help machines to identify it correctly and to know what type of data is in the data set. To take it to the level of a web page, which is what Search Engine looks at, we humans know the page is more than just a random collection of words. As we read the page, we begin to understand its meaning and how all the pieces of data on the page contribute to that meaning. That's an amazing ability that we've evolved over millions of years. But it's a very hard task for a machine. So it would help the machine, in this case, a search engine, if we put some markup around certain types of standard information to structure the data so the search engine can recognize it. Right. And that's where schema markup comes in. The major search engines all agreed to adopt uh, the markup found at uh, open source web community schema.org. Some of the types of data that search engines can recognize with schema markup include mm -hmm. locations, addresses, phone numbers, recipes, reviews, news articles, and many other things. Yes, and it can even be used to identify properties of things. For example, you would identify that uh, something on the page is a recipe with a schema markup, but you could also identify key properties of the recipe, such as a sound summary, an image URL for a photo of the dish, and ratings from users who have used the recipe. Well, that's great for the search engine, but why should we help Google or Bing do their job? I mean, what's in it for us? Does it always have to be about you, Mark? <laughs> well, Eric keeps asking me if I've increased the traffic to our site, so yes, it is about me. Okay, why this is important for site owners, bring us back to SEO. One of the tasks of the search engine is to determine how relevant a page is to a user's query. Structured data can help with that because it explicitly states what type of data is available which makes it easier for search engine to compare to other pages and see if they have similar types of data. In theory, the better understanding a search engine has about your content's relevance to query, the better chance you have of ranking well for that query. Now that said, I don't think, for example, Google treats just the presence of structured data as a ranking signal, and I don't think it ever will. 
So any other SEO advantages you can tell us about? Uh, yeah, in a couple of different ways. One is that it can help you get a more visually compelling treatment in, in the search results pages. For example, those little stars uh, for review items. Another is inclusion in certain types of Google carousels that they are increasingly adding to search results. You know, news, recipes, products, query relevant locations, etc. So Mats, what are, we, what are the hot new developments for schema right now? Okay, while it's not exactly new, I'll go with JSON-LD, which is a specific way to present a structured data schema. JSON-LD stands for JavaScript Object Notation Link Data. Without going too deep into the weeds, I'll point to one sweet advantage of JSON-LD compared to other ways of marking up structured data. It allows you to separate the structured data from the on-page content, which can make it a lot easier to nest and maintain both the structured data and the HTML and content on the page without messing up either. So that helps developers? Yes, in my experience, a lot. Uh, but there are some downsides. The duplication of strings bloat content, and notably so in cases of long form articles. And when you have data on the page that isn't visible to the user, there's certainly a risk uh, that uh, you update the on-page content, but not the underlying structured data. So it's important to manage that with the proper tools and processes. So what makes JSON-LD specifically so valuable to search engines? Ah, so JSON is a great way to transmit data from machine to machine. So it fits right with the vision of uh, stru using structured data to better understand the content on the page. And it also reduces the parsing and processing required for the machine to physically read and understand the content. So do all the search engines support this? No, right now it's only Google. And that, of course, creates problems for a web publisher. Uh, should they stick with a single schema type, uh, you know, one that is as broadly used as possible, or should they go with one that suits Google the best? Or should they use both, right? So you, the answer really depends on the cost-benefit analysis, on traffic patterns, and what you think the traffic potential is. Thanks for sharing the information with us, Mats. Mats has provided us with some helpful resources about schema markup, which you'll find in our episode notes. Now, Mark, have you finished that important task I assigned you? Yes, I'm ready for you to test it out. Thanks, Mats. So, Mark, have you been able to classify our objects here? I sure have, Eric, but I have to give credit where credit is due. Oh? Yes, I couldn't have done it without the markup our senior director of technical SEO placed on me. That's why I pay him 18 grand a year. 18 grand a year? That's more than I make. Well, anyway, I'm ready now. Okay, well, show me how you apply the sorting algorithm based on the schema classifications of these objects. Okay, easy. Uh, pick up one of the objects. It doesn't matter which one, just, just pick up one of the objects. Okay. <laughs> Mineral splatters vegetable. Oh, I get it, I think. Pick up the animal. Okay. Vegetable lures animal to its death. Ah, uh, but animal eats vegetable. <laughs> Rock threatens insubordinate employee.